Guess I'm not calling people a dumbass. <clears throat> All right. Peter Dumbass Quillen. Just vacated his title. His WBO title. Before I even get into the particulars of him vacating his title. Who is Peter Quillen? That is the question. Now people that's going to watch this video probably will watch enough boxing to know who Peter Quillen is. People that don't watch this video or not part of this uh, this this boxing community on online probably don't know who Peter Quillen is. This dude just gave up the highest purse on his biggest stage because Al Heyman says so. Dumbass. So, it was reported that uh, Peter Quillen declined his highest grossing this career purse of $1.4 million to, to defend against Matt Korbov in the Barclays. Uh, Rock Nation, Jay-Z was putting a Putting the venue on for 1.9 million. 1.9 million. That was higher than anybody else was willing to put this uh event on for. You had Golden Boy Promotion uh trailing with a 1.2 million dollar offer and top rank for 515,000 combined. They weren't even offering for the total of the event more than what he would have gotten his purse. Let me say this again. Jay-Z offered his purse more than the entire Golden Boy top rank combined event. You vacated your WBO title that gave you some type of recognition in the weight class. Now, I'm not one to sit here and say it's never a good it's never a good idea to vacate your title. Sometimes it makes more business sense when you have a mandatory challenger and you have a bigger a bigger payday that could be made. Just like uh just like uh, uh what's his name? Um uh Devin Alexander scrapped scrapped the fight after numerous issues uh with him supposed to be fighting Kill Brook to possibly get purse with uh Mayweather. Of course it didn't work out. But in Peter Quillen's weight division, with the exception of uh GGG who was still up and coming as far as a megastar is concerned, at least in the United States, where are you going to get that type of money from, son? He was going to fight in the Barclays in November with a purse of $1.4 million. Now they're saying uh, Al Heyman, his advisor, is not liking... Jay Z tapping into to to the boxing world with his Rock Nation brand, and that could have been a sole reason why he convinced Peter Quillen to uh, uh, pull out the fight and vacate his title. But let me ask you this: You got the opportunity. Being a New York born cat. I won't say New York born. New York raised. That's where you rep. Backed by one of its most influential stars. 
to get on what you would probably consider the biggest stage in boxing for you. What did Al Heyman tell you to say, I'm going to walk away from it all? Because if that's the case, Al Heyman, I, all the props in the world for making your fighter be a dumbass. It's funny because, you know, he was always, uh, Al Heyman is always considered the man behind the man behind the man. That gets all the deals done, and he makes he makes more money for fighters than they would with either Golden Boy or or Top Rank or Lou DiBello or whatever have you. He he gets his fighters money. In this sense, he ain't getting nobody no money. So who is the real Al Heyman? Because right now he hurting his boxer. Peter Quiller needs that belt for recognition because he's not a mega star. He had the opportunity to fight on his biggest stage. Hell, hell, it's so much of a big Puerto Rican culture in the East Coast in New York area with the with the Puerto, De- Puerto Rican Day Parades and all that. Miguel Cotto, every time he headlines a fight, he headlines it in New York. Not in MGM Grand, not in Vegas. He ain't out there. He is in, he's, he goes to where his people are at. Where he could get his biggest payday. Because at the end of the day, it's all about how many ticket sales can happen. How many people can buy into this uh, into this deal. Because if it ain't no pay-per-view, how many tickets, how many butts can you put in the seat? Miguel Cotto will go to Barclays or, uh, or Madison Square Gardens in a heartbeat. Because he know he has a big Puerto Rican uh, backing there. You rep New York and you walk away from 1.4 million more than anything you could have ever made. Because Al Heyman said so. I know I've been sounding kind of irritated lately. And that's a lot to do with me not making videos busy in life and the whole nine. But this is a... Uh, Another instance of, use a dumbass.